we will solve problem 43 of chapter 4 kinematics from H.C. Burma. In this problem there is a truck which is moving with some velocity V which is 14.7 meter per second. There is a man in the truck who throws the ball upwards. It is not told how and what direction he is throwing. Ball is thrown in such a way that when the truck has traveled a distance of 58.8 meter, the ball again lands here. What does that mean? It means that the ball should be thrown vertically upwards so that there is no horizontal velocity relative to truck mind relative to truck there is no horizontal velocity but since truck is moving with 14.7 it will have a horizontal velocity vx and vertical velocity is what the person has given it had he given had he thrown at some angle some angle with respect to truck while being in truck if he sees that angle then the horizontal velocity will be having a component of this velocity with which he threw component of that plus the velocity of truck it means the velocity horizontal velocity of ball would have been more than the velocity of truck so the ball wi will be moving a dif different distance ball then would not come back to the truck so in such problems it is when it is mentioned ball will come back to the truck and truck is moving with certain velocity and there is no acceleration in the truck movement it means the ball is thrown in such a way that its horizontal velocity is same as truck that will happen only when you yourself do not do not give any horizontal component whatever horizontal component this ball acquires should be the same as the horizontal velocity of this and this can only happen when you throw it vertically so one part of the question is that you have to throw vertically as far as the truck is concerned but if you take a reference frame for for a fixed reference frame what is happening this ball has horizontal velocity vx and also vertical velocity vy so the ball is like a projectile making some angle theta and for the horizontal person seeing it horizont from the horizontal reference plane I'll draw it here it is like this I don't know whether it is visible it is like this I will have to compress so it is going like this so there is some angle theta from the horizontal frame of reference and there is a vertical velocity Vy horizontal velocity Vx will be same as 14.7 meter per second now what is the time of flight this ball will go up with the vertical velocity Vy and Vy initial velocity Vy Vy is equal to V sin theta at the highest point its velocity becomes zero so we can write v sin theta is equal to g t time taken up to this point we have used the equation v is equal to u minus a t so final velocity is zero this is the initial velocity minus it minus a is g so we get this expression so time this is a half time time up to this point the total time of flight will be twice t this is the total time of flight will be equal to V sin theta upon G twice V sin theta upon G is the time taken now we know that the horizontal distance traveled is 58.8 and we know the horizontal velocity so time taken by truck in reaching from this point to this point is same as time taken by a ball to come back so time here will be, the speed is 14.7 is equal to 58.8 is the distance upon time t this is equal to 4 
when you divide it comes 4 so t is equal to 4 now place the value of t here we get v sin theta is equal to 4 into 9.8 upon 2 which is 2 into 9.8 which will be 19.6 is v sin theta so v sin theta means the vertical component of the velocity is 19.6 so from the reference frame of truck the person has thrown the ball at 90 degree upwards with velocity v y which is 19.6 meter per second so part one of the question is answered now we have to find what is the angle theta from the stationary frame of reference and what is the velocity so we can now uh, use the equation v cos theta is 14.7 horizontal component vx which is v cos theta was it has to be equal to the truck that is what we have at velocity of truck that is what we have explained and v sin theta is equal to 19.6 take tan of this divide this divide these two equations you get tan theta is equal to 19.6 upon 14.7 and when you solve it you get approximately theta will be 53 degrees from the stationary frame now what will be the velocity velocity will be you square and add these two equations you square these two equation 1 and equation 2 and you will get v square sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 is equal to 14.7 whole square plus 19.6 whole square under root which is square root of 600 is the velocity of the uh, of the ball with respect to the ground this is the velocity v with square root of 600 so just keep few things in mind one is the fixed frame one is the moving frame and in such questions where ball is thrown thrown from a moving frame when it comes back to the moving frame it means no other horizontal component was given to the ball whatever horizontal velocity it acquired was the horizontal velocity of the moving train truck or bus whatever it may be only then it will come back so it has to be thrown vertically from the reference frame which is moving and from the fixed frame it will appear that you have thrown it like this because there is a horizontal velocity vx of the truck and this was vy so this is the basic aspect which has to be kept in mind for solving this question so thank you